In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat the cover three, uh, cover three Mabel coverage for a one play touchdown in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that you can get better at this game is simply by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now one of the other things that I did want to highlight before we dive too deep into this is I just got a new cell phone number. So for those of you who've been following me for a long time you probably still have my old phone number and I need to get you switched over to my new phone number now if you don't know why I give my phone number out on on YouTube here's why basically the reason that I give my phone number out is so that you guys two things come with that the first thing is you can ask me any question that you want um, that's a, a way for you guys just to be able to get in touch with me uh, so you can text any question that you want to my cell phone number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can the second reason that I do this is because I want to be able to give you guys some exclusive Exclusive material every single week and so every single week we sit down for about an hour and cover a full fledged offensive or defensive scheme in the past we've broken down the big nickel over G the nickel 335 wide the uh, cover four match defense was this last week we've covered gun bunch gun trips tight end bunch tight end and several others about 15 um, different offensive and defensive schemes in this playlist for you right now and so if you're new and you haven't gotten that playlist yet uh, all you have to do to get it is simply text the word Madden to my new cell phone number at 208 218-6900. That's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. And if you text it with that keyword of Madden, then it will automatically, I've set it up so that it can automatically send you guys the playlist with the exclusive uh, scheme. So every week, and they're very, very high level stuff. It's stuff you see right in the MCS. It's stuff, it, you know, a lot of the stuff that are in there are things that people are winning money games with, tournaments with, and CFMs with. So if you want to get that, that's how you can do that. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk today a little bit about the gun bunch and I wanted to show you a little cool little beater that I found um, against the cover three. So this is primarily if they're playing just kind of a standard cover three Mabel um, and I'm gonna show you that out of the 335 uh, normal. So I'm gonna come out in the play cover three sky and what cover three Mabel means at least in the Madden sense of the term and the offensive play we're gonna use is Jets dig. The cover three Mabel, what that basically means in the Madden language is it means that they're gonna play a, uh, um, a hard flat at five to 10 yards and a curl flat at 25 to 30 yards or vice versa. So basically they're gonna double flat both sides as you can see here. And then they're gonna user the middle of the field with their user right there. In this case, it would be Savage. Now, the way you're gonna beat this out is you really don't even have to make any adjustments. Literally, all you have to do is snap the ball. And what you'll notice here is this R1 receiver, if you pass lead him to the right, and it might have gotten messed up there because I made a couple adjustments to the coverage. If you pass lead the receiver to the right, he will almost always glitch out this coverage, even if there's a safety in that sideline. So you'll see here again, I'm just gonna snap the ball, nothing too crazy. And this is really what we're looking for. This pass lead to the right, click on, and you're gonna be able to go up and make a play. Now, if for whatever reason that's not working, you can use um, you can use this other strategy, which is to basically take the um, an out route to Tavon Austin, and then an in route to the tight end. And you'll see here again, this guy will basically. And if they if they don't, you know, and part of it's because Jair Alexander is in the zone, but if they don't uh, stop it, right? then you can easily consistently do this over and over again. This is best when they press. I'll show you how to mic plus three here. Um, I think it works a little bit better against the three, three, five wide, but you want them to press. That's another key. They do have to press for this to work, but you'll see right here. There he goes to the right, right there, kind of squats, and then you can get that ball over to Devontae Adams. Now, another thing you can do, and this is why I like to take the tight end and put him on an in route sometimes, um, is it, as long as we put him on an in route, you're gonna notice that this does help this a lot. So the, the key is definitely that they do have to press. I did forget to mention that. If they don't press, it doesn't work as well. But if they press, and again, Jair Alexander's in the zone, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this to the other side just so you can see the play better. Um, because if they're in the zone, sometimes they will be able to get back there. But let me just show you to the other side here. So um, we're just gonna flip our play. And you'll see right here, 
Again, I shouldn't have to do anything. It's just be able to snap it. As long as they're pressed, you'll see that he go once he squats to the left like that, then you can pass lead all the way back to cross your body. And that's more of what we're looking for. As you see, there's that one play, uh, one play touchdown opportunity that we're able to have. Um, so now that Jair Alexander's out of the zone, we should be able to run this uh, to the other side. And again, if you want to get the full gun bunch scheme, all you got to do is just text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Um, the key is this, is that they do need to press. Now, most people are going to press. If you play Madden at all, you're going to know that most people will press their coverage. But you see here, there he squats. So it's just up and to the outside. And if he can, he not, most of the time he won't recover like that. Um, you just want to aggressive catch that if there's if there's even the thought that there could go something could go wrong But most of the time he's not gonna be able to get back on the ball um, Another thing you could do is option route your running back on the backside too. That'll help a little bit But again just up that's more what we're looking for right there And as you see a one play touchdown against that cover three So that is going to help you a lot a lot of people like to run cover three Mabel uh, still a lot of people like to run like stuff like the Mike Blitz 3 and they basically use her in the middle of the field against Gun Bunch. Well, the beauty of this this route concept here is, you know, you now have a really solid cover three beater. Um, you'll see once he goes that way and then you're just going to wait on it just a little bit, get it out there. And as you see a one play touchdown and we're starting to get very consistent with it. So um, this cover three beater is absolutely incredible from the Jets gun bunch offense. And again, if you want to get the full gun bunch scheme, all you got to do is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number, which is 208 218 I want to thank you for watching this video. And I also want to invite you to our week or our daily live streams. We stream Madden 21 every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. So if you want to come, you want to come hang out, or if you want to play some Madden with me, you can always come and hang out on our streams. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys um, tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.